All right, so we got another review for you here today. We got the Kobo Clara HD. This is Kobo's latest six inch ebook reader. Uh, it's got a new narrower, lighter design. It's also got a new design on the back and a new logo with the Rakuten name. Um, so it's kind of got rounded corners down here, a little bit more rounded than the other models. And they moved the power button to the bottom. I thought that would be kind of a problem at first, but I haven't accidentally pressed it yet. It's uh, does require a bit of pressure. So uh, they got the narrower bezel, side bezels on this model. I, I kind of find it more comfortable to hold from the bottom, actually. Uh, it just sort of depends on your personal preference. Uh, so here's a look at Kobo's very first frontlet ebook reader, the Kobo Glow on the left. So the Clara HD reminds me a lot of it. Obviously, they're very similar design, the same sort of look. Uh, the Clara HD is just a little bit narrower and it's a little bit lighter. Uh, it's got the higher resolution 300 PPI screen. And they've also added the Comfort Light Pro with the adjustable front light temperature. I'll show that in a second. And here's just a quick look at the Clara HD next to the Nook Glow Light 3. It's amazing how much smaller it is. Even though they both have the same 6-inch ink screen, the Nook's a lot larger with those side bezels that have the page buttons built in. I do like the page buttons on the Nook, but it's just kind of amazing how much smaller the Kobo is than the Nook. So here's a look at the Clara HD's front light. So it's all the way turned up right now. We got it at the far end of the cool color. So the thing with the uh, Comfort Light Pro is you can adjust the color a little bit here. You can add a little bit of warmness. I kind of like it a couple notches like right there. Some folks might like it here. You like where you get halfway, where you get a little bit more orange for reading at night. This, uh, and then, then you also got the full on orange. Uh, and, and then it kind of depends on like how much... Uh, what level you have the brightness at is like what color it'll be as well So if you like take it down to half brightness, so it's not nearly as orange even at the farthest end of the setting So it just sort of like uh, depends on how you want to customize your look at your screen So I do like that aspect of the Kobo Claire HD some folks would like uh, the orange light for reading at night And some folks like the lighter light the whiter light So it just sort of depends you can also set it to auto and what that does is it doesn't have a sensor But it'll go off like based off the time of day and it'll gradually start adding more orange as the day goes on. So you can read about it. Uh, they have this little section here about the, uh, the Comfort Light Pro and how it works. So if you tilt the screen, you can actually see the front lights down there. There's seven like blue lights and six orange lights. So some folks have been having some issue with light bleed. I don't really have it too bad on mine. It's just a little bit brighter at the bottom of the screen. Uh, another thing you can do with the front lights, you can adjust it by swiping up and down the left side of the screen if you want to fine tune it that way. All right, so let's talk about some of the software features now. So with uh, Kobo's eBooks, you have this header and footer, and if you tap on the footer, it'll show you, it'll cycle through like uh, showing you how many pages are left in the chapter, like how much time is left in the chapter. Um, and so if you tap in the middle of the screen, it'll bring up your settings or your like on-screen stuff here, and then you can go to the main settings menu. Uh, you have some different tap zones with Kobo. So like I was saying, if you tap in the center, you can access the settings, but you can also change it up here if you wanted to tap at the bottom or tap in the middle. Uh, you got some different... Uh, settings here for the custom page refresh to how often the page refreshes gives you a full new look You got the typing or the swiping or tapping uh, For this page turn so like if you're just using swiping you don't have as many accidental presses It kind of works nice and there's also the setting for the uh, reading progress So if you tap this icon down on the lower menu for the reading progress, it'll show you like uh, Estimated time left for your chapters and it'll show you like how long the chapters are and how long it'll take you to finish the book. So I do like having that feature. It's kind of handy, but it only works with Kobo's books. It doesn't work with like EPUBs or in your uh, other kind of books. It only works with a Kobo EPUB format. So so the software on the Claire HD is the same exact software they have on the other Kobos. I mean, you don't have the overdrive integration like they do on the Aura 1. That's the only model that has the direct overdrive downloads, but you can still get uh, library books on here by loading them uh, via computer. Uh, so with the fonts here, you've got the advanced menu with Kobo's fonts. So you can customize the weight you can make them appear bolder uh, by adjusting the thickness of the font. Uh, it works with these preloaded fonts. Uh, there is a patch that you can install if you want it to work on side-loaded fonts, but uh, generally, just uh, by default, you don't have the option to change the boldness with your uh, uh, side-loaded fonts. So it is a nice option to be able to add TTF and OTF fonts. So as you see, I got a few of them on here. And then you can use your own fonts as well. And then you've got the different line spacing, margin settings, all that usual stuff. Uh, you got a table of contents to navigate your book. Uh, and then you can easily uh, go forward and back with that. And then uh, there's some other ways to navigate around as well. You can jump by page numbers. Um, if you hold down on a word, you obviously you pops up the dictionary entry. Um, you've got the different dictionaries with Kobo. So you can load some other ones up through the settings menu. And then you've got the different sharing and annotation options the highlightings and the notes and then if you swipe through here you can go through the dictionary entry uh, the text is pretty small with the dictionary so if you have like poor eyesight it might be kind of hard to read but there is an option for large print mode in the settings menu under beta and then you can uh, 
get larger text with that. It works with uh, menus and it works with the dictionary. So uh, here are some of the other dictionaries you can install, some different translation dictionaries and stuff. So some of the other options you have up here on the top menu, you've got the Wi-Fi, you can turn on and off, you got your battery indicator, and then from there you can access your energy savings menu where you can turn on and off like how often you want the device to go to sleep. You can turn a pin code on if you want to have a pin for when it wakes up. Uh, you've got some different options for showing the book cover on the uh, sleep screen. So, um, And you've also got another way to navigate down here by using this page dial you if you hit the double arrows it'll take you to different chapters you can skip the different chapters that way um, and if you hold down in the corner they recently had this fast page turn feature you can swipe forward and back to turn pages quickly like sort of like swiping through a book um, if you hold down you can highlight so I find that the highlighting works better than it used to I used to have a bit of an issue with Kobo's not being as accurate as I'd like but it, it works now uh, better it doesn't it does have a little bit of a lag to it, but uh, it does seem to be more accurate at the starting and end points uh, for the highlighting. So you can run searches by selecting a word or hitting the icon in the top right menu. Uh, it, you can search in the book on Wikipedia and in Google. Google and Wikipedia will open up your web browser. Um, then it'll give you this list when you're searching in your book, and then you can navigate through the different pages of all the appearances of it in your book. And then once you uh, select an option, it'll take you to that location in your book, and then you can scroll through the other uh, results as well and then head back to the main list too if you want to so searching does work pretty well on Kobo's but it is limited to 100 results um, this is a look at Kobo's home screen they changed it a while back so you got your recently read right here you got some different options you can actually just remove it from your recently read section there and then you got the books some of these uh, sections change depending on how you're using your device and how it's set up uh, and then over here in your books view you got some different viewing options if you wanted to view it by cover view I tend to like the list better. It shows you more information. It tells you like what the format is and everything. Um, and then you get like the actual title spelled out instead of just the cover. So you got some different sorting options, recent by date, by series and author. Uh, it hasn't been working right though with the recent. It's not showing my recent stuff on here. It's kind of got a different idea of what recent is. Then you also got these tabs up here for books, authors and collections. And then you also have some additional filters as well. So you can just sort by like overdrive books. You got through the library, the books you side loaded, and the books you've downloaded from Kobo. Uh, you got a def few different ways to navigate. So if you've got like a larger library, you can jump to the different pages that way. Or you can just simply swipe through your pages uh, to see your different, uh, all your list of books. And then you got the different sorting options as well to narrow it down. The only thing I don't like about this menu setup is it always takes two presses to do everything. You have to hit the menu, you have to hit the button to open the menu, and then you have to hit whatever menu item shows up. So usually you just have one button to go to home, but with Kobo, it's always a two-step process. So Kobo's devices they support other content as well, like manga and comics, and uh, you know children's books. They got some different kinds of formats, so you can load in CBR and CBZ. This is actually a Kobo book, and with Kobo's books, they do have uh, like the fast page turn feature. And then they have, but they don't have like a way to like page forward when you're zoomed in. So some other devices and apps, like if you tap the screen, you'll be able to advance while you're zoomed in and that it'll like follow the frames. So the Kobo, it doesn't do that on these type of books. You do have to like manually scroll around the page or turn pages that way. Uh, and then if you do, that does have that fast page turn feature. If you hold down in the corners, you can scan through the book quickly that way. All right, so that concludes the Kobo Clara HD review for today. Check out the ebookreader.com for the written review. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.